Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Hylix. Hylix 2, in fact. Um, I just recorded a whole episode that was me getting lost and backtracking and going back to earlier areas and almost none of it was new content. Uh, I learned that you can do this. You can slap your way into this fight. Um... And now that I'm actually recording this new episode, having deleted the older one, I'm like, oh, God, I shouldn't have done that. Because there was, like, a few things in there that were unique. Um, cool. Uh, I went to the, quote, TV island, uh, which I will go again. Because it's where you turn in the, uh, the things, the antennas. It was timely. I commented on how uh, wherever you, whenever you fall, when some stone is in the party, uh, she like holds her skirt down, which is kind of interesting and cute. That's a weird new enemy. Um, but yeah, I don't know why she does that because there's no. Uh, it's not like there's like underwear unless there is are there like genitals to cover with those I don't really know I don't claim to know wow that's big damage see I also learned that I'm not done in uh that maze area. Cool. So I also commented on the, um, the reason that I'm having issues with this. There's a very good reason for it. And it's because I feel like it's because they give you fast travel so so soon because in a game without fast travel usually your movement has to be very impactful it has to be very intentional you have to be smart about where you move and where you send the player um, because if you don't you waste the player's time and you want to avoid doing that so um in Skyrim, you have fast travel unlocked pretty early on. You have to go somewhere in person first, but after that, you've earned the right to fast travel there, and you can do so forever. So in Skyrim, when somebody says, hey, go here, and then come back, and then go here, and then come back, and, you know, you do that a couple of times, you know, not as much of the player's time has been wasted. Whereas in something like Dark Souls 1, that doesn't have fast travel available early on and never gets perfect full fast travel um you don't have to like there's not as much s of of sending the player places you know uh more when not having fast travel and not having uh but still having like quests like in skyrim is the worst of both worlds and but that's just because morrowind has some poorly designed quests uh, having recorded a good 60 videos on Morrowind, I feel uh, relatively justifiable in, in making that assessment. There are some really poorly designed quests in Morrowind. I don't know if I'll go so as far to uh, go as far as to say that Morrowind itself has bad design. Uh, though I do think that the movement speed in Morrowind should have been considered a little stronger than you know than they did especially considering the amount at which you have to walk and move um but in this game we're getting almost the opposite problem okay is this just the start again yeah in this game we get almost the opposite problem where they give you a, a lot of really fast movement early on and so sometimes you don't know where you're supposed to be going because the game could be sending you really far away really, really fast. 
because the game can ask you to do that. Um, so yeah, I just, I, I've been getting lost because I'm like, okay, so I know that I can walk really, or, you know, fly really far away. I don't know if the game wants me to do that, but my best guess is that. And part of that is just because I uh, might not be understanding, but it's something to consider in terms of game design, you know? It's a, it's a big thing. Because, like, if you dumb it down and make it too linear, then people accuse you of hand-holding. But some people need that help, you know? I'm directionally challenged. Uh, and I have something up with my attention. I think I have ADD, but I haven't been able to get diagnosed. Having a panic disorder will do that. Oh, yeah, I had a story about my panic disorder, too. But yeah, like, I assumed that this was... I, I learned recently that there's a boss at the end of this. And I assumed incorrectly that I was done in here because I thought that this was the new, like, thing. Like, I thought that there was just going to be a new thing for every, like, big plot important thing you do. So, like, I thought that you getting that one thing and doing the little platforming section, I thought that that was going to be the thing that time. Uh, and I thought that in this, like, this weird, like, not quite auto-scroller, but, you know, this type of area. I thought this would be how this one works, you know? I will not. I don't know that it can bring me back. Although this looks like the boss then, because if it's not the boss, then why would there be a checkpoint in front of it? What the f Wow, that's a that's quite a that's quite an enemy. I guess that'd be the worm, huh? So yeah, I picked up this move off screen. I will show you where I got it. Because uh whoops. Von Thrintrelpine? Rut row. No effect on fast. I was literally about to hit this. That's unfortunate. Not many battle items this time. Like, all of my items are just healing items of different ability or quality or quantity. Like, yeah, this just picks someone up. This gives you mania. This gives you will. This gives you flesh. This gives you flesh and is a cure. This gives you flesh and will. And that just gives you, like, I'm, I don't know why it's like that. Discorporeate and dissolute? Ether gland. Wow, that's a lot of health. And that puts us to sleep, huh? Rut row. External digestion. Oh, I guess because it's a worm. Oh, I wonder if Fontrelthapine, or whatever that was, is, uh... Just the, the technical term for a, a, a worm. Or a type of worm, you know? Let me hit myself with that. Thank you. So I don't know if I don't know if I have much reason to do this, but that's okay. Uh, 
I'll hit you with this again, I think. So it's dissolute, which is not the same thing as... Dissolute, which is not the same thing as poisoned, which is not the same thing as bleed or fire. Kind of interesting. Okay, I think three turns have passed, though, so... Should probably hit you with it again. Oh, he's angry. Rut row. Um so I've had this like phobia. This is this is just a story, but I've had this like phobia of having a stroke for like years now. Uh, I'm not really sure why. I'm just afraid of having a stroke or having a brain aneurysm or having a... A brain aneurysm is, is the biggest one, but it's also the hardest to say, so I usually say stroke, even if that's not exactly what I mean. Um, so in 2017, I started getting, you know, my, my wrist started to go numb, my hand started to go numb. And so I was like, oh god, it's happening. I'm having a stroke, you know? Or I'm having a heart attack, or I'm having something like that. And I can tell because my left arm is going numb. But as it happens, I'm a lefty. Technically, I'm ambidextrous, but I just use my left hand for more things. Um, but I can use my both hands on anything. Hit that, will you? That's a little overdue, but that's fine. Oh, never mind. I read it wrong. So anyway, yeah, so I was like, I'm definitely having a stroke. And as it happens, I just got carpal tunnel and skip like 10 seconds ahead. But this is something my wrist actually does. The other one does it too now. A lot less bad because it's my right hand though. I use my right hand for less things. And I usually don't write with it as well. Okay. Stomps so it can... You can hit him again, can't you? Alright, smoking. Sort of make sure that Wayne and Stompsonona survive, I think. I think they're uh, my, my biggest hitters. All right. Useful. Radical. Now, oh, there we go. Big cutscene. That makes sense. So, um... In 2018, I got a, I, I got diagnosed with a panic disorder. But before that, I was just like, definitely sure I was having a stroke in a different way for a different reason. So that was going on with me. I don't suppose I have a uh, thing here, do I? The aircraft. Nope. Oh, north of her, of course, yeah. Um, so yeah, like I would just be laying in bed, my heart would be pounding cuz I was and I was like, "Oh man, I'm having a stroke again. I'm sure of it," even though I'd never had one, you know. So I'm, I'm having a heart attack just because I had a panic disorder and so my heart would just like pound just sometimes for no real reason. Making it nice and convenient for me, you know? And of course, being anxious means that I can't just be like, it's a false alarm like the other 30 times it was. 
And at one point I spent, uh, I remember it because it was Homestuck Day and I was just like, I was spending it in the hospital because I was sure I was having a panic attack. And I was at a doctor's office for a different thing. I mean, not a real doctor. I was at a chiropractor's office. But I was there for um, a different thing. And he was just like taking my pulse. And he was like, yeah, your pulse doesn't make any sense. Maybe you're having a heart attack. And I was like, I mean, you're like a doctor, right? And he was like, I'm like a doctor. And I was like, well, you would know if I'm having a heart attack, right? And I'm like, and he was like, well, how good's your insurance? Because if it's a false alarm, then who cares? So I went to the, so I just went to make sure and I spent all of Homestuck Day, all of 413 at the hospital. I missed work too. Am I full? Yes, I am. I'm trying to find the, like, thing that lets me teleport back to the afterlife because I think that they make it so you can't strand yourself if you don't have the boat, the airship. Sorry, I call ships boats. I call all ships boats. It's my thing. I like doing. Right, it's here. Anyway, so because I've been slick, uh, sick, I've been sleeping poorly. Uh, and it's tensed my shoulders pretty bad. And so um, my left shoulder has gotten so tense that it's cutting off circulation. Or not circulation. It's, it's just I've got a pinched nerve in... Um, this shoulder, my left shoulder, right along here. Um, but it makes my, my left arm feel funny. Okay, I'm going to go here and show this to you guys. But it makes, it makes my left arm feel funny. It makes my left cheek as well. And my eye. And so it's like, oh, the left side of my face is feeling weird. What's happening? So the TV island is a place that you can get to just by flying here. Um, yeah, see, it's this thing. It's on the very edge of the map. But you go up here. Here we are. Welcome, pilgrims. The monitor's up the stairs. Real monitor was lost in the accretion, but via antennas, we can hear it again. I'll go up the long way. The sages' great broadcast towers boasted, uh, boosted their power tenfold. These magnificent spires were brought down to the crisping of Amulon, and the antennas were scattered. Been collecting the antennas, I see, and take these off your hands. Okay, I'll try it, thanks. So yeah, you just give the, that guy antennas, and it increases the potency of charge up. Charge number power booster. Those who wield it may find their most familiar gestures granted unique enhancements. So this is charge. This is the TV that gives you charge. Wait, I think I wanted to stay there. See, I think that was the only new thing that I... Oh, yeah, I did learn something about the airship, but I have to be on the airship to do it. So, yeah, um... Sorry, I'm trying to think, but nothing's happening. So yeah, last night, like, my left arm was feeling weird, and my, the left side of my face was feeling weird. And because I have a panic disorder, I, I felt like the weirdest, faintest hint of a weird thing, and so my heart started pounding, and so, like, all of those things were happening, and I was like, oh no, it's happening. It's definitely happening. And it's even happening now a little bit, but it's just that my chest is tight, and, like, my, my back and my shoulders are tight as well. Uh... Such a hassle, you know? So I want to talk about how, um, like you can use the afterlife for fast travel to an extent, but something that is kind of annoying is that, uh, when you use one of the pools, it takes you to the beach. Like, you go to the beach when you die, and presumably that's it. Oh, this is the thing that I learned, by the way. You can walk around up here. Now that the shield's down, we can reach Fall Glass, the domain of Odazer. Um, 
So yeah, we can talk to Pongoma for more information on our current quest, which is nice. And we can talk to Stomp Snow now. Thanks for helping me with that clandestine facility. No problem. We trained for that sort of op at the Wayne house. Oh yeah, I found a muscle applique in the worm room. You're fond of this stuff. I'm gonna... I'm, I think I'm gonna give all these to Stump Stona. Oh, well. And then this you can use the, uh, the paper cup for. And it gives a boost to everyone. Foglass Sorcerer seek to restore Lord Gibby in his assorted fortress, Hylum Xylem. Oh, Hylum Xylem is the name of the fortress. That makes sense. I don't know what this is. I assume it's just the engine, though. And then you just go here, and you can do it again. So yeah, that was the other thing that I discovered. Right. Okay, so this, is, this was the thing that had the shield up, I believe. Yet yeah, having a big world map in Hylex 1 really helped me keep everything straight because it's like this is the top of the map. This is the bottom of the map, you know? There's a left side and a right side of it. I can I can suss those out, you know? And like I've already I feel like I've played this game more than I already have played Hylex 1. Like part of that is just because I was a little tired last time, and so like playing it felt weird but like I I don't know I feel like I did a lot of I, I uh, like I've just been playing this for longer than I would have been playing Hylex 1 I guess I have put like three-ish hours into this and like maybe the end's coming up but I, I think that this game is longer um, HLTB said so have you come to witness the ring constitution what a time to be alive the wrong fool Yeah, useful bugs for helping me regen. Ah, I should have slapped him. Post dog. So is that like post punk? Like is that the is that the logic there? Like this is a post dog dog. Like after everyone's already over dogs, this guy's still being a dog, but he's got new he's got new ideas about it. Highway Fleam. Oh yeah, I gotta use all those muple, muscle appliques. Muple appliques. Pardonnez-moi. I wasn't even gonna record today. Um, I mean, I'm happy I'm doing it now, but... Discorporating. All right. Sam Stone is going to charge up. And then she's going to let loose with the, uh, her big attack. Let it be known, by the way, I don't think Hylix 2 is bad. Hylix 2 is, in fact, very, very good. It's just that um, Hylix 1 is so short and so solid that, like, it's a really it's really a tough act to follow, you know? Because it's just very, very good. So we're charged up, so these weak attacks don't matter as much. Little wavelets come by. Yeah. Then we can take care of more business that way. Oh, shoot. Okay. So yeah, my wife just was like, hey, I'm going to pick up more hours at work. And I'm like, good, you need to. I mean, not that she needs to. 
we have the money. It's just that uh, uh, her program is wanting her to get like 400 hours. And like, it's asking that she get 400 hours over uh, a couple of months, like before May. And I'm, I'm not even, uh, this isn't even going up when I'm recording this, but yeah. I'm proud of her. I'm happy she's getting to uh, get some stuff done. All right, let's be on the watch for more bugs. Oh, we can probably track this in, huh? But yeah, Halix One is so like small and perfect that putting more stuff in it, I, I don't know if that makes it better, you know? It certainly makes it bigger, but I don't know if that gives what I what I like want to it, you know? Um, it's also just a thing of like, it's not that the first game is good. It is, but the first game is so simple that it's very fun. What should I press to use this dog? I'll save here as well. Can you not, like, use your stuff out of battle? That's a little weird. That's okay, though. I guess they want to force you to, um... Use the... Wow. Stona is kind of fucked up. Uh, let's heal you, and then let's also armor you with, uh, Datus Mon. Ah, oh, crap. Cranial glom. That's okay. What the hell was I just talking about? My cat meowed and I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, I was talking about my wife. Um, yeah, she's just currently working on getting uh, a bunch of hours in because her, her school program wants her to get X amount of like experience. The fact that it's just like a regular ass slap. Oh god. Am I charged up? Snom's Nona is her name. Sorry, I just realized that I I don't know if I was reading it correctly the whole time. Um, let's foam armor you as well, then. They kind of... Oh, is that actual shaving cream that he's pouring? I just realized that it, like, it really does look like that. Well, he's dead. This is getting, uh, this is getting bad. Yeah, this is, uh, I don't know if this is going well. This might, uh, this might hurt me, because I think those guys might do a counter. Yep. Okay, let's have you... Well, hmm. I 
Hey, also the backgrounds aren't as good. The background here is just one of those like things, like there were some really weird backgrounds in the first game. They were really cool. But yeah, this game is also like really making me play strategically. That's something that I wouldn't really expect. Um, I mean, not that I shouldn't expect it, but like, oh crap, Pankorma's also dead. Hmm. Yeah, this could go bad. Hmm. Glory. Wait, no. Yep. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. Sorry, I paused it, but I realized that I have something to complain about. Um, so, like, I don't know if I had gotten, uh, I don't think I got a, a thing there. And if I didn't, what that means is I have to go, like... I know that it's not the game's responsibility to give me a checkpoint every, you know, 10 feet. However, um... Because you can leave the airship at some places and you can't just get a new one, you have to go back to the one. That means that you can go somewhere, realize that you don't have the airship... Oh, this is the shield shield facility, not the facility where there was a shield. This is the facility that had the... Oh, God. This is a weird choice. But yeah, like, I've gone to the wrong place here because, because the game has decided, which means that now I have to go back in here. I have to wait for this slow animation for me of sinking all the way in. And then I have to run back to the main place. And like, I don't really know why this is so big. Is this meant to be, like, a punishment for death? Hylix 1 was pretty free about death. It was pretty business casual about it, to be honest. I always wondered if they were going to, like, work on that more and, and build more stuff into it. Because, like, Hylix was always very lazy as fair about death. But, like... I don't know, man. Like, this is... This is weird. Because, like, before you also just clicked on a crystal, and then that was a pretty immediate animation. But now you have to wait for the pool to, to you know, suck you down in. And then you have to go here, and then... You have to do a little platforming thing to get back to the only place where you can resurrect your craft. And, like, that seems like the kind of thing where they'd give me the ability to resurrect the, the craft later on. But, like, that's weird. I don't know why it's like that. But, yeah, you can only get the craft back from here. Now, again, because this is semi a semi-classic RPG, maybe the thing is, is that you're supposed to have a, a save, you know? But Hylix 1 could be beat without saving. Um... And you're not necessarily supposed to, like, use or abuse save scumming. Or even, like, you don't even really have to save. Because when you die, you don't game over. You just go to the afterlife. And sometimes that's even a good thing. But yeah, there's a lot of... I offhandedly mentioned about how Darkest Dungeon 2 has a lot of choices that are just completely different from the first game. For maybe just... Because, like, just for the sake of having something different from the first game, you know? And, like, I don't know if Hylix 2 feels like that. I could definitely understand it if, like, Mason Lindroth came out and he was like, Hey, this is, this is my dream. This is how I wanted Hylix to be in the first game, but I didn't have the technology. You know, I was limited by the technology of my time. And now that I can make it, you know, I always wanted it to be like this. And, like... 
that's cool for him if if he wanted that if he wanted this to be the case if he wants Hylix to be like this that's cool and I understand but like there was something so simple even about how Hylix one is kind of crappy like using a very generic uh, system like RPG Maker but then using such weird and unique uh like art style really changes how the game feels and how the game plays. Um, and I feel like that's very, very interesting and very helpful. Cause like, um, like, I don't know. Like if, if you're going to make a game and you don't have the ability to make a really cool, really good art style, there's no reason why you shouldn't make a unique and weird one. Because, like, I, I'm not a very great artist. I'll admit that. I'm, uh, I'm okay at art. I'm not a fantastic artist. Oh, you asshole. Um, but I can make something that looks weird, and that might be better for me than, you know, anything else. That might be the move for me to do if I were to... All right, I'm going to take a lot of, of backlash from this. I might survive, though. Um, Data Simone can't do very much right now, so I'm thinking that you should just work on healing people. One moment. Sorry, I've got a package I need to go get at some point. I'll probably do it right after this. Could do with a little walk. I took a little walk earlier. Um, I mostly just hung out and I, uh, Let's see, I wanna, let's do you actually. You've got a lot of health to burn through. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the other, I'm gonna do that thing again where I, uh... okay, good. I actually want this to happen. I'm gonna do my big super wave attack after I charge because I, I really like doing that. Especially if you kill uh, with the first wave, then the, the second waves can then follow up and kill more. And that's cool. I like that mechanic. Okay. Uh, heal you, I guess. pongorma has been taking a beating. I guess he needs better armor. He's only got the default stuff. Oh, he's dead. Hey, alright. Wayne... Uh, you can heal. Yeah, heal you. But yeah, like I say, I freely admit that I do not have uh, artistic capabilities like most people do. Um, I'm not a great artist, but I can make something weird and unique. And like, that should be what everyone does if they, if they want to make something. Like, if you can't, like, manage it, you should definitely just make something totally weird. Okay, so we should be able to just kill with one snap each. And then we can tag team the last guy. Um, and then I'll save and then I'll go grab my package. My package in the mail. I'm not being coy about jerking off. Pool wine. I got a lot of those. Long gloves and a jumpsuit and boots. Okay, I gotta check those out. I'll do that at the start of next episode, actually. Uh, but yeah, until then, it'll be in a few days. I've been Alfred. This has been Hylix 2. Uh, and let it, be, let it be known that Hylix 2 still does come very recommended. I moved this up to kind of motivate myself to sit up straight. Uh, but then I just kind of leaned back in my chair. So I've, I've, I've had a lot of clearance over my head. It makes me look very short. What if I just recorded a whole LP like this? Like, hello, guys.
All right. Oh, Dutch angle. I can do this off camera. What the, what the hell am I doing? Anyway, uh, I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Uh, this has been Hilux 2. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.